begin our class. Take this moment to observe all of the beautiful benefits that your practice is having on your body this morning. Good morning, guys. I have two very juicy pimples. Sorry to have used the word juicy just then. That's absolutely disgusting. I think it's from my new IUD, not loving that. My Pilates session was so good. I really have just been focusing on cardio, like going for walks, doing 12, 3.30, but I woke up this morning and I was like, I just am craving that deep burn. Like I really wanna move my body in that way. And it was honestly so divine. I will link the workout that I did down below. Highly recommend a little at home Pilates this week. Take care of your mind and your body. That's what I love about it. It's like so mindful, but at the same time, it really burns. I don't think there's another workout that does that. So anyway, I'm gonna jump in the shower. Okay, I'm changed and showered. I'm actually heading in to Ethan's studio, which you guys haven't seen this in a little while, but she's stunning. So I finished a body of work with my music, but I'm starting work on a whole new project that I've been writing for the past, I don't know, year or so. So I've just got like a bunch of songs that I've written. I think there's 44. Obviously, if you're gonna try and make a body of work that's like anywhere between eight and 15 songs, like an album, the more songs you start with means you can take the best ones and whittle it down and then you've got a stronger set of songs at the end so so basically ethan has like 45 <laughs> songs we're gonna listen to them and he may or may not use my feedback to help him choose which songs are gonna go on his next album love it i literally just started crying at one of his songs. I came up with this in a dream and I have voice notes of me at 3 a.m. <laughs> out here trying to describe it to myself for when I wake up. Okay guys, I have briefly paused um, helping out Ethan because I actually have a call to discuss some possible editing work, which is really exciting. I'm literally just about to log on to the Zoom right now. Hopefully this isn't awkward. I get really awkward at the beginning of Zoom calls, so pray for me. Hello. Good, how are you? Yeah, I would love to know uh, as much about it, like where it came from, your ideas and then what the business is, like all of it, definitely. So go absolutely crazy. Happy Tuesday, guys. Um, I am having actually a late start to the vlog today, but I have done a lot. I went to the gym, I did some emails, all of that fun stuff. I was wondering what to film today, and then one of you guys actually DM'd me and told me that Savers, which is the big thrift store that I go to, is having 50% off today. So obviously I'm gonna go and film a thrift with me, which by the time this vlog is up, that will also be up. So I'm super excited about that i just i love going thrifting because i truly have no idea what kind of things i'm about to get and like how exciting is that i'm not gonna take the vlog because you guys can just go and watch the thrift with me and then come back here and we can reconnect i'm back from the thrift store i'm literally so frazzled i don't know if you can tell it was so busy and because it's like 50% off all the clothes. Everyone was there, it was so loud, it was so overwhelming, but I literally had the best time. Like I got the cutest stuff, look how much I got. I got these two full bags. Definitely go and watch the thrifting video if you guys haven't already, um, but I'm really happy to have filmed that. I unfortunately like didn't get as much content as I would have liked, um, but there were just like so many people, it was so hard for me to film. So I did my best and that's what matters. So I think I'm gonna make a quick smoothie and then bash out the try on portion. So I have to film like the sit down portion where I kind of talk through each piece and then I film the try on portion as well. Um, I like the try on portion because I get to just listen to music and stuff. The talking portion is the tiring bit and I film that last. So I'm gonna try my best to make it work. Good morning guys. I literally just woke up which is why I look and sound like this. I am so sorry. I literally think I filmed like 
two clips yesterday but I did my filming for my thrifting video and I just got so tired like sometimes when I film I just get wiped out it was just like very hot and yeah I was working until like six so I ended up having a little bit of a me night which was lovely and I had a big sleep as you can probably tell <laughs> And I'm feeling so much better today. Today is just gonna be a really big work day. Um, I'm gonna edit that entire thrifting video and try and get that finished. And then I also have a little bit of work to do for the girl who I edit for, but also something really exciting happened that I haven't told you, which is that I actually, last week on my weekly vlog, I had a phone call. Wait, was that this week? Oh no, it was literally in this vlog. I had a phone call with that guy and he hired me which is amazing so now i have two days of work a week for clients as the editor which means my income has doubled and i won't be feeling stressed about money and i'll have a lot more stability so that is very exciting taste test I mean, it always tastes so good. I use Oatly Barista Edition. I know it's like apparently got bad ingredients in it that are like, I don't know. I honestly, these days, every TikTok that I see is like, this is bad for you. And it's something that I use. So I honestly just ignore them because this is the best milk ever and it froths so well. So sorry. I either go to the gym in the mornings or I go for a walk and today it's just such a beautiful day and I also think it'll really wake me up and just get my mental health into a really great place. Not that I'm in a bad place but being outside really like refreshes my soul. So I think I'm gonna go for a really nice long walk outside and listen to a good podcast and just have some me time before I get stuck into work. Because the thing about me is that once I sit down at my desk, I literally will not move, which is like a really bad habit. So I just, I like to do all of the self care things in the morning so that I, you know, can have a really good productive work day. All right, I'm just gonna figure out what to wear. It's actually like one of those days where the temperature is literally going from super cold to super hot um it says that it's currently 16 degrees which it's cold outside i was just sitting outside but then it's gonna get up to 31 so i don't know what to wear on my walk this is my gym outfit oversized well it's kind of not that oversized but this is my friend's shirt that i literally stole maybe like five years ago so laura if you're watching I still have your top, although to be fair, she has one of mine still. It's my Harry Potter t-shirt, so we'll do a swapsies maybe when we're like 40 years old. This is not the most aesthetic outfit, but that's actually something I really quickly wanted to say. I know this is like such a, maybe it sounds like a silly thing, but I feel like some of you will be able to relate to this. I feel like because of TikTok and Instagram and everything, it really looks like everyone works out in these like adorable little like matching sets with like the sports bra and the cute leggings and i just want to say that like you do not need to have an aesthetic cute outfit to work out or go on a walk sometimes i find that it does help me if i put on like one of my cute little matching sets it sometimes motivates me to actually do the workout but also there's no shame if you're literally wearing like an old pajama shirt to work out i feel like there's this weird pressure almost to like have everything in our lives be super aesthetic. And I just wanted to say that if that's not where you're at, like if you can't afford cute gym clothes or if you don't have them, or maybe you don't feel comfortable wearing just a sports bra, I've been there. Like I'm definitely still working on that. Do what makes you happy. If you wanna wear cute aesthetic gym clothes, go for it. But if you don't or you can't, don't feel any shame in that. Anyway, I'm gonna go on a lovely wholesome walk. flown by but I just spent the morning doing some like revisions for the youtuber who I work for and by the way I realized how annoying it is for me to say the youtuber that I work for the only reason I 
don't share who it is is just because I don't know what she would want like I don't know a lot of youtubers don't want to publicize that they have an editor but anyway I've done her revisions and now I'm just editing some TikToks so for every video that I do for her I also do a few TikToks then I'm gonna like get ready for the day and then work on my own stuff it's already 12 30 um so I was definitely hoping to be a little bit further ahead but it's all good I have you know time it will all get done I obviously just got out of the shower. Today is me and Ethan's six year anniversary and he's booked us a cute little dinner. But also I think I'm going to try and film a brand, like a brand deal segment, a sponsorship segment today as well, because I'll already be like getting ready for tonight and I don't like to wear makeup every day. So it feels like a really good use of my time since I'm already going to be looking cute to go out tonight. I'm going to tick both things off. So looking very casual right now, but this is just my casual work from home outfit my full length mirror is over there but it's literally so dark because i have all the blinds shut if you get triggered by you know unironed clothes so sorry but these pants are literally so cute and so comfy like i'm actually obsessed anyway i'm gonna really get my head stuck into editing this thrifting video i really want to try and bash it out and then we can get ready together and have a really cute little evening i just did my hair it's now 4 28 i am definitely running behind schedule i set myself a plan that i would edit until three and then get ready from three to 3 45 and then film my sponsorship at four and it's now 4 30 and i'm like half ready um so i'm just gonna do some makeup and yeah then i'm gonna film this sponsorship sponsorships are obviously incredible because it's just a little bit of like supplementary income for the month from youtube and my views on youtube are just a little bit lower than they normally are right now therefore my income's just a little bit lower so it is really nice to get brand deals and also obviously to work with brands that i genuinely love oh my god i almost knocked my shit off the countertop but i will say that being accountable to someone else is something new for me in this job like obviously i'm the only one who has to approve my videos so when i do work with a brand i'm so grateful and i'm not complaining at all but i do find it a little bit stressful like there is a bit more pressure because they need to approve it you know you need to make sure that you're representing the brand well so i definitely do like just feel a little bit more pressure to do a really really good job anyway i'm just gonna get ready now and as i said before this is really actually good because it kind of doubles up as me getting ready for a little date night. I can't believe Ethan and I have been together for six years. That is literally crazy. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind Testing morning guys i just got back from the gym so glad i did it i got up a little bit earlier this morning i'm really trying to get back on my 7 30 wake up grind which i know is not very early for most people but i just have not been able to wake up in the morning so i've kind of my sleep time has just been pushed back and back and back i have quite the day today so yesterday i filmed that brand deal and then i just went straight to my computer to edit it because i wanted to make sure while i was still in the same outfit and makeup and everything that I did a good job so that I wouldn't have to reshoot if that makes sense anyway and I feel like I slayed it I think I did a really great job hopefully the brand has no issues and I don't have to refilm anything but yeah I need to finish that video up and send it off ASAP because it was actually due yesterday I will say 
their turnaround is a little unrealistic so I feel like it's fine that I send it off today. Then I'm actually doing some work for that guy David who I spoke to on Tuesday. It's like my new editing job. I'm meant to be doing eight hours for him today. I don't think the full eight hours is going to happen today. I might split it between today and tomorrow but anyway we'll just see how we go. Guys, I literally wore the cutest outfit last night and of course I forgot to film it, but I wore this little white dress with my blue thrifted like Jeff Avenue breezy shirt kind of dupe that I got in my latest thrifting video. It's actually the video that I'm about to edit now. And it was honestly such a cute little date night look um, for our little anniversary dinner, which by the way, was so delish, but some of our food didn't come out warm. Like anyway, it was a whole thing. So my to-do list for the day I did write out timings because I really wanted to try and get everything done so I did everything on time up until right now I said that I wanted to start editing and like finishing off this thrifting video which is also the sponsored video at 9 30 it's now 9 38 so I'm eight minutes behind schedule which is fine all that I have to do is do some voiceovers I don't know if you guys have seen my thrifting videos but basically I get a lot of clips of me thrifting but it's, sometimes it's kind of hard to talk in the thrift store like it's so loud there's so many people so something that I do is I do like a little voiceover so that's what I'm going to record now and then once I've recorded the voiceovers I literally just have to watch it through make sure that everything's good it's an entertaining engaging video I have to just make sure that the brand deal is good and then I can send it off the jean section is one of those sections that you really have to dig through and look through every single item because they all do look pretty much the same it looks like I haven't moved but I promise I have I finished my video I sent it off to the brand so hopefully they approve it and that's gonna go live in like four or five days so feeling good and now I'm sitting down to start working for David I think I told you guys this already but I actually was originally planning on doing a full day for him today but I'm actually gonna split it between today and tomorrow so I'm feeling so much less overwhelmed and now I can just take it easy do a half day today for him I've obviously already done work on my own stuff I literally have an eye twitch like I just feel like I've had so much on it might not look like it but I've just had a lot of work on but I'm so grateful to have all of this work it's so good to have a stable income I'm so excited so anyway I'm just gonna do some editing for him basically he's starting a business and he wants me to do their like TikTok kind of strategy and I'm just doing like a, an overview of what the TikToks might look like based on some footage that he sent me so it's pretty much just an editing job but I get to be like a little bit creative with it and it's for TikTok rather than YouTube which would be nice it's like a nice way to break up my skill set I think so I'm excited I'm honestly just gonna bash this out and work for the rest of the day and then tonight Ethan's going out um, with a friend and so you and I can have a little us time oh all right I made dinner it's just ravioli so simple but Honestly, I love ravioli so much. It's like one of my favorite easy meals. I'm gonna eat this and I'm watching the new Netflix dating show. It's called The Perfect Match, I think. And it's where they have a bunch of contestants from like old Netflix shows, reality shows. It's gonna be interesting. I'll let you guys know how I like it. But you guys know, I love me some trashy reality. So I'm excited. Work today went well, by the way, for um, the guy who I'm working for. I just cut up a bunch of TikToks um, and did everything that I could today and then I'll have a call with him tomorrow and we can like chat through what I did and see how we go. But yeah, loved, loved it. It was like a fun, easy work day for me. And now I get to relax with my bowl of pasta. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy my pasta and I'll catch you guys up later. Good luck, here's the love. Good morning guys. Happy Friday. Today is going to be a really chill day. I feel like this whole week, honestly, I've just been working, um, but it has just been such a hectic work week, but we are at the end of the week. It's Friday, TGIF. So I'm starting my morning by running some errands. I want to go to the chemist. I've literally run out of every single bathroom product, like my face wash, my moisturizer, my lip balm, like it's all gone. And I've really, really, I'm feeling 
feeling really dry so I just need to go and get some stuff. This is the fit. It's all thrifted actually. These jeans I got this week when I went thrifting, same as this top. This one is from a previous thrifting trip. And then these shoes are just my Air Force Ones. They're actually so beat up. Um, I really need a new pair, but these aren't thrifted. It's the only thing I'm wearing that isn't thrifted. And my hair's a little wonky, so I just threw it up. Okay, let's go to the drugstore. guys a very quick haul because it's so boring razors because the state of my legs is not to my liking ball bristle brush to slick back my hair i'm really excited about this lip balm this is the best one i've ever tried and i've tried pretty much every lip balm on the market moisturizer this is like the only non-comedogenic one in the drugstore cleanser i've never tried this one but again it's not comedogenic so i'm excited to try that this dermis treatment ointment i'm gonna start slugging because i have really dry skin and my skin what's it called like my moisture barrier is so fun. So I'm gonna try slugging with this and let you know how it goes. And finally, pimple patches. These ones are amazing. If you guys haven't tried these, they have micro needles in them. So when you push it down on a pimple, you can like, it's kind of sharp, like you can really feel it. These work, like these work so well. Something I quickly wanted to update you guys on before I end out this vlog is the friendship stuff. I was talking to you guys in my last vlog about how I was kind of struggling with making friends in a new city. Your comments were so sweet and so validating and I just really wanted to say thank you. I felt so seen and like, I don't know, it's just so nice to know that I have a bunch of friends who I've made online, you guys, who were all just like going through the motions together, experiencing the same things. Like I just find it so comfy to know that you guys are there and I feel like that's reciprocated and it's just like the loveliest feeling but anyway I had so many of you guys reach out and let me know that you live in Melbourne and that you want to grab coffee and I was just like overwhelmed and obviously I don't think I can meet every single person who DM'd me so what I'm thinking of doing is putting on like a little picnic where we can all meet each other so if you guys live in Melbourne make sure you go follow me on my Instagram because I'll post on my story about that when I decide to do it. And then also I've caught up with two of my friends since I posted that video and I just feel generally so much better. I think part of it was just like a mindset thing to be honest. I think I was just feeling really tired of like, it's just exhausting. Like living in a new city, constantly reaching out to people, like it is exhausting. So I just took a breather, I had a few people reach out to me, which was so lovely. And I've had a few catch ups and I'm feeling so much better. It just shows that all you need to do is communicate how you feel and I think people just get busy and like you just never know you know what someone else is going through so i think if there is something that you're struggling with like just communicate it so that's my little update on the friend situation but thank you guys so much for supporting me through that i really just like made me feel so safe and warm and happy so thank you i'm gonna end this vlog here because i feel like it's long enough again it was very work oriented but hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway i got so much done this week thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next week with a new video bye